It really depends on who you're speaking to. Oftentimes we can get on social media or a live stream or a video or whatever, and we can have a conversation in terms that other entrepreneurs in our industries are going to understand. We can talk to our coworkers and to the people around us who are doing the same thing. And we feel very comfortable with that because we understand it. They understand it. It's a community thing. We can have those conversations. But that type of conversation is only going to lead to conversations with people just like us who aren't going to buy from us. So we have to kind of switch that narrative and speak to the person that we're trying to serve. So who are they? Where are they focused? Where are they going to be on social media? And when are they going to be on social media? And what type of help are they actually looking for? So if you are doing something like coaching, you don't want to speak to other coaches and you don't want to talk about coaching terms. You want to identify who your person is and what their current problem is. What is their struggle? When you can then speak on that level and speak to here I was, And here's how I overcame it. Here's how you can do it. Here's how you can do all of these things. Here's the actual step-by-step of everything you can do. But if you don't want to do it alone, if you want someone to hold your hand, then you can come to me and I can help you with that. So you have to identify who you're actually speaking to and then get in front of them and have those conversations. And it does take time. This isn't something that just pops off overnight unless you magically go viral on TikTok. So you have to identify what platforms your people are on. Is it going to be longer form content on YouTube? Is it going to be shorter form content on TikTok? Is it going to be something over on Instagram or is it a combination of these things? And when you get in front of that place and then you hit the algorithm well, and the algorithm is specifically looking for interaction and engagement. So what type of content can you put out to get responses, to get shares, to get saves? And then based on that interaction, they'll send it to more or less people. So right now, TikTok is an amazing place to grow for all entrepreneurs. It is so highly valuable because they show you to people that aren't following you, that don't need to follow you, but might spark with you. So the more content you put out, the more conversations you have, the more likely you are to get seen by more people, the more likely you are to get hitting in the algorithm system so that you then get shown to more and more people and you can grow rapidly from there. So you really just have to identify who you're speaking to and make sure you're not speaking to your contemporaries. And then you have to keep creating content consistently And in a way that starts that conversation. And sometimes you have to go out and start the conversation with other people and draw them into you so that you're showing up in their space as well.